Today we're turning one of the most relaxing games in the world into one of the most stressful by speedrunning Cat Goes Fishing. We can start our speedrun as soon as we click on classic mode, and then right away you can see what this game is all about. I'm a cat that goes fishing. Yeah, I mean it's not the most complicated topic in the world. So what I'm going to want to do as this cat is just keep collecting better and better fish. Like right now I want to get a mustard fish, so I want to use this fish as bait, and of course there's going to be that guy right there. But our speedrun is going to be getting to level 10, so you can see right there I got to level 2. I can get another quest, which is going to be to unlock the next rod get the good rod and we just want to keep improving ourselves until we are a level 10 cat this next one is going to be to purchase a rod attachment so i can go in here buy a driving lure and we'll just keep going down doing some more fishing trying to complete our quests so it's a pretty simple and relaxing game until you try to speed run it because speed running this game kind of sucks with how much rng is involved and how many of these fish want to destroy your run the fish very often are not going to act in ways you'd like so yeah you just kind of have to deal with it but what we'll do right now is try to catch our next grumper so we'll get a couple of these fish who do not want to bite at all and one thing i want to make sure i do is while i'm both focused on getting the levels i also want to be focused on getting money so i want to sell the good fish use the bad ones for more bait and just keep going like that so with these cuttlefish because they aren't very good i'm going to use him for bait try to catch this mustard fish who is just not paying attention but we can at least get one of these who is going to be 400 so that's going to be nice and our quest right now is to catch a grumper but the thing is grumpers are very hard to catch with our current loadout so i'm just gonna grind up until we get level five and it will become a lot easier all that i'm gonna focus on right now is just getting money and that was actually a grumper who took a bite out of me okay maybe i shouldn't focus on getting money and just hopefully get that grumper he is in a very annoying position but i guess that's just the life of cat goes fishing so we can hopefully get him it's going to be very hard because he's kind of far away come on dude please i guess we'll take a mustard fish good enough right but this grumper would be very good to get this early in the run i just have to get lucky and he has to look at me the thing about cat goes fishing is sometimes you're gonna get lucky sometimes you aren't you just gotta keep trying i might as well go for a better fish to try to get some money at least but this grumper really does not want to bite on my bait okay we'll get one of these because they will be worth a good amount of money and i might as well just grind up my money if i can't get the grumper why are you all the way up here dude you don't need to be up here right now i'm trying to catch the worst fish not a really good one please okay grumper i know you're out there somewhere we can just work together i catch you oh that was so close that that legitimately was almost there. I see two grumpers just sitting by there now. I just have to get lucky enough and have one of them come near me, but all right, we'll just take the mustard fish because that should be enough to at least level me up. So now I can get some lures and then use both a rocket and a bomb. Now this is going to allow me to go further and also use this bomb to make sure the fish that I don't want don't come to my lure. Come on, grumper. Come on. Yes. Okay. We got him. Now we just have to make sure he doesn't die, which he should be safe because there shouldn't be any big fish around me. And yeah, we finally got the grumper, completed his quest and can now do our next one, which is to catch for swooper. So swooper shouldn't be as hard like we got our first one right there i just got to make sure i'm trying to catch the right fish and also have to make sure that we don't get random mustard fish that are coming at dude please stop all right i'll try to cast my lore a little bit less swooper come on dude all right that should be a super right there we also see two hats which would be nice to get but this is a speeder and i'm just trying to go fast and i might as well use the swooper to get rid of these mustard fish right here because these guys are in a very annoying position they will ruin some of my super catches so yeah we're just gonna get rid of them but this might be another super right there i just have to hope that this mustard fish doesn't try to go for me thank you very much that was way too close for comfort but i will take it and these mustard fish are kind of just destroying me right now i need to get one of them dude just get out of my way like they are both in the most annoying positions and there's not much i can do about it okay what i'm gonna do is just wait for this fish so at least i can catch him and then use him to get rid of one of the mustard fish come on bud just get caught by the thing and we'll get rid of this mustard fish so now what i can do with this guy is yeah goodbye thank you very much for finally dying was it really that difficult now what i should also do is buy a rocket really quick so i can make sure we cast a little farther because that mustard fish is not going to go away anytime soon and then with that i can get this and now i just have to hope that everything works out and we got the swooper that's going to be four out of four so our next quest is going to be to catch two round fish we'll be going for those but this mustard fish is still there i really need to get rid of this mustard fish but i'm also not finding any other fish i can get like he is just completely in my way thank you for finally giving me a different fish and it's just a cuttlefish so it didn't really matter that he died there let's just get rid of this mustard fish please thank you for going away finally and what i'll do is now get a bomb so hopefully we can find one of these round fish but it doesn't look like that wants to happen well that's a waste of a bomb <laughs> 
happens sometimes. Please, just give me any good fish. Where are all the fish? Why are they nowhere close to me? This game does not want me to be successful right now, but I guess we'll just try to grind. If we can't get any good fish, we might as well get some money. So we'll take this guy right here, and it looks like some more fish have spawned around there, which we can use to catch some of these mustard fish and then use those. We'll just reel him in really quick. And if we get to $10,000, we can use that money to buy a better rod, which will help us in the long term. Oh, I also just realized I caught one of the round fish. I didn't even realize that I did. What did I catch that guy? Well, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you're just fishing and you don't even realize. But with this mustard fish, we should be able to get the power rod, which is gonna help us out a lot. It's gonna allow us to go a little bit further and hopefully Hopefully catch some better fish with that but we can get that round fish right there get a new quest which is going to be to purchase a rod attachment that is really easy we'll get the driving lure for that get some more money and experience and now we have to catch a cowfish this is where the game really starts getting a little bit more difficult because to catch a cowfish first you have to get one of these guys bait and then you have to get one of the slightly bigger fishes bait before using that for a cowfish so what I'm gonna do here is a bomb and just hope we can get one of these bigger fish but all these guys are not even going for me me, please is there anybody who wants my stuff okay if we can get one of these mustard fish that will be able to be used as bait so that will be very nice and now we can use a bomb so hopefully we'll be able to catch one of these cowfish or just get a regular fish that kind of sucks yeah this game sometimes just doesn't want you to win please get away from me fish i do not want to catch you i'd rather catch this mustard fish thank you very much okay that was close but with that guy hopefully we can use this bomb this time to get a cowfish and then we can get a ton of experience it looks like there are no bad fish around me i just gotta keep going oh or we'll actually take that that is a really good fish see if you get the queen fish that's going to cause all these kingfish to come right around you and now i can just catch all these guys this is gonna be a ton of free money and yeah it's literally just the best scenario ever i just get a ton of kingfish that was actually really lucky so i am very happy with that we might not have gotten the cowfish but this is pretty much just as good because these guys are just swimming around here they don't even try to flee and i will take all these 350 dollars fish like that is nice and easy so now we've sold through them, got a ton of experience out of that, and now hopefully we can catch our cowfish. Come on, please let me find a good fish. Mustard fish, come on here. We will take you. And then with that, we'll buy both a bomb and a rocket and just try to go as far as possible. Oh, there are two cowfish right there. Come on, dude. Please. Oh, that is not the fish I wanted. Also, this cowfish is about to take a bite out of him, which will make him worthless. Please do not do that. Oh. Come on, cowfish. You didn't have to do me like that. But I will sell this guy because he is worth enough money, so might as well. And we can just get this mustard fish right there and try again. Okay, cowfish this time. Please, dude, get on my... Thank you very much. That is going to be a ton of experience. And he's just a really happy fish. He is happy to die right now. All right, got that fish. That is going to be a ton of stuff. And now if we want to, we can buy a boat. But boats are also going to be very expensive, so we won't get one for a while. But if we are able to save up enough money, I will definitely be buying a boat. All right, three mustard fish time. Those should be fairly easy. I am always happy to get the mustard fish quests because they're worth a good amount of money. They give me some experience and I can just keep getting them really quickly. Also, one thing I should mention is the quests you get are not always going to be the same. They kind of switch around and you just have to adapt to them. So that's why I'm happy I'm getting some pretty good quests because things are going pretty well this run. If this this mustard fish can just bite come on dude all i'm really going for is these mustard fish but they do not want to bite right now please other fish come on mustard fish you were so close to eating my stuff dude you were so close all right we should be able to get this mustard fish that guy is nice and easy and i'm actually going to go for one of those big fish down there because it's just going to be worth so much more money if i can use this bomb right here to make sure i'm able to get one that would be very nice come on please do not go for me okay that's fine please no oh i took a risk there but i needed to say it and of course it didn't pay off whatever we'll just go for our last mustard fish i guess to get this fish instead and that is going to be our last one but we have to make sure he doesn't get eaten by that bigger fish because of course that will make sure that we can't have him that was really close and that is going to be another quest done which it seems like our next one is to catch three galena i'm honestly not even sure what galena are i'll be completely honest so we'll just try to get some money right now and you know if we catch some galena we'll catch some galena maybe i have it in my catalog just so i can know okay they're those ones yeah i don't know why i just forgot that but that shouldn't be too bad there's a galena right there but of course he just misses my stuff yeah catching the galena will be easier said than done but we will try our best come on dude please come towards my lore okay honestly i feel like the better strat at this point is to just try to get enough money so we can buy a boat because the boat will be very helpful for our fishing journey if we're able to get it now what i'll do there is buy a bomb hopefully be able to go deep enough so we can get a good one of these fish dude why do you have to be by my bomb why do you want this oh but we can get that fish right there and that is going to be worth a good amount 
amount of money and enough money for us to buy our first boat or not i forgot that it was more expensive than that <laughs> for some reason i thought it was 2500 but that's fine we almost have enough to buy our first boat and that also gave us a good amount of experience all right let's try this one more time and this time not just completely mess up everything <laughs> Oh, and of course, my bomb happens on the Galena, the person that I didn't want it to happen on. But let's just get one of these big fish. Mustard fish, do not come near me. Thank you very much. I do not want to see any mustard fish right now. I just want to get the good fish and be able to keep going. All right, this time I'm going to use both a rocket and a bomb and hope that it works out. We'll see what happens. I mean, we might be able to find some really good fish, but it might also go really badly. I do not want to waste this stuff. No, and of course it got wasted. Okay, it happens. I was hoping that some good stuff could happen out of it, but it really didn't. We're still almost to level 10. We just have to find a couple of good fish and I just have to get lucky. If we can use this bomb and catch a very big fish right here though, that would be very nice. Where are the big fish? Come on, guys. I really need you right now. I'm just going for something good. I guess we'll use both a rocket and a bomb right here. Hope that something good is able to happen. Okay, you are not who I wanted. And this is a medium-sized fish, but it might be worth a good amount of money. It won't be perfect, though. Yeah, that's 1,200, which is okay. I'm going to take it. But this game really just has to help me get lucky. Like, we could go so much faster if we just got a couple more of these fish. Come on, mustard fish. You need to come right here. We can get you. And then hopefully... We can finally get one of the big ones. All right, guys, help me out here. Just give me something good. I don't want you. I want something big. But we don't want to go too deep because we also don't want to get sharks on us. Oh, I will take that. Okay, this is going to give me a ton of money. I will take a queen fish, definitely. Because then, of course, we can get all the kingfish, get a boat really quickly, and that is going to help a lot. We'll just keep going through selling all these guys. They're like, what happened to our queen, please? But I'm just going to keep buying. It's not my fault that they're upset about me taking their queen. It's their fault. And I might as well catch all of these even if we already have enough for the boat just to make sure that we can get all that experience because it is very easy experience but now we can get the boat which is going to be nice because we can go out further you can't sell the fish while you're at sea but since we're going for experience instead of just getting fish it won't matter to us so we can get a bunch of new fish and we can get these galenas which yeah we need those so i'm just gonna keep hopefully finding some good creatures and yeah we want new ones i do not want this queen who really wants to get caught by me come on galena get on my lore thank Thank you very much if we can get the rest of these galenas this run is going to be over and hopefully that will be enough i know i just said it would be over but i'm actually not sure and no it is not at all <laughs> Okay, if we can get some good fish, maybe if we get this new fish right here, we'll see how much XP that's worth. We can get this queen fish, which is going to be worth a good amount of XP as well. Of course, all the kingfish are also by it. And we are so close to being done. I, I am now feeding them their queen. I literally fed these kingfish their queen, and I feel so bad about it. But, you know, it's what has to happen. I'm just trying to get my experience up. And we got to level 10, sub 25. Oh, that was so morbid. They were all going for their queen and i just fed one of them oh what an ending all's fair and cat goes fishing now this game isn't on speedrun.com but for what i can find the world record for this category is going to be a 2225 so hey mine was a little bit slower but i'll take my second place now i'd like to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it it really helps me with the youtube algorithm and i'd really appreciate it also check out my other videos i do a lot of speedrunning type content as well as other casual content so if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy my others and if you do subscribe but enough shilling thank you all for watching i'll catch you next time